So maybe if you could kick off with us just sort of talking about the mental health crisis and, and really what you mean by that. Sure. Well, I said last March, I said that if you go into this, this period of isolation, and we didn't know it was going to be a year plus at that point, but if you go into this with mental ill health, the chances are you're going to come out worse. Yes. Not guaranteed, but the chances are. And equally, if you come into this okay, there are there is a chance that your mental health will suffer during the course of this year and you might come out worse. And I think we've seen that play out. You know, and so many people are desperate to get back to the the office environment or the workplace for that social contact that they're they're missing this isolation that comes from working from home. But also there's a challenge because managers are having to operate as modern managers more than they had to before. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, you know, we, we come from the industrial age. We come from a world of command and control. And that was certainly at the start of my 30 years in HR, that was the default, that was the norm. And management practices have progressed and there's much more about empowerment and self-managed teams and trust and permission than there ever was. But for those managers for whom that doesn't come as an instinct, it's hard when you can't sit over that person's shoulder and see what they're doing. You just have to trust that they're working, not playing with the dog. And I think for everybody, therefore, whether it's employees or managers coming out of this, there needs to be a reset when it comes to mental health. And there's lots of things that, that employers and managers can do to address that. I'm happy to talk about it, but you know that they're going to have to do these things. Otherwise, they're going to find high levels of sickness absence, drops in productivity, high levels of turnover, a loss of discretionary effort. So people are there, but not really there. And what does that lead to? Reputational damage, reductions in profit. And if you're on a sugarly peg already with your business, then that could be just the thing that tips you over. <laughs>